courtesy Howard Brody and Rod Cross, Tennis Science for Tennis Players, and they've written some very good books about this. There's an experiment where they show a racket balanced on a table, and a ball machine shoots at the racket, knocks it over, and they measure the rebound speed. Then they put the racket in a vise, tight grip, and the rebound speed is nearly identical, if not identical. And I've spoken to Rod to really confirm, and this is true. And the explanation is that, obviously, if the, the racket's balanced on a table, it's going to be knocked down. And if it's in a vise, it won't give. But what he said is that the wave that reaches the vise takes longer to get to the vise than the ball is on the string. Let me say that again. The ball is on and off the string before the wave gets to the vise. So that if the racket's balanced on a table or hanging from a rope, the rebound speed is the same as if the racket was fixed. And what I think that suggests is that we can go way, way more relaxed with the grip. Way more relaxed with the grip. And I'll try to reprint the, this scientific article, if you could call it that. But this is really about experimenting with something where the racket is held looser than you ever thought you would do it. Than you ever thought you would do it because the ball's going to be on the string so little and because there's actually inertia in a racket so that this may not be about swinging the racket as much as it could be about using the racket. Really take a moment with this and talk to your friends or even at a party suggest you could have a, a bet about rebound velocity on a racket that's balanced on a table. There's something here much more than meets the naked eye.